Hi everyone, my name is Nolan Bemis and I'm a freshman at Johnson County Community College. I'm 19 years old and live in a family of eight with one dog and I'm a parishioner at St. Michael's. My family is Catholic by name, but not by practice. It's never been much of a priority for them. Growing up as a kid, sports was where it was at, especially football and basketball. Going into high school, however, things started to go downhill. I developed this idolatrous identity revolving around football and basketball. I got to a point where my grades tanked and my familial relationships crashed and burned. I was in and out of friend groups. I don't know whether or not I would say I was depressed, but I would have 10 awful days in a row. It was in this dark place during my sophomore year that a friend from my basketball team reached out and invited me to go to the St. Michael's Youth Group. Over the next two years, I set my shame aside and came closer to God, but he still wasn't always first. My faith was barely hanging on even in August, just eight months ago. After an experience at a Catholic summer camp, I came to realize I needed something more. It was like someone pulled the fire alarm on my life. Afterwards, I asked my youth minister, Kevin, how I could stay involved with my faith in college. It was at this point Kevin told me about SPO, and after a few Facebook messages, I met Michael, one of the SPO missionaries on campus. Going into college, I had the desire to put God first, but I didn't know how to quite go about this. SPO has shown me and taught me how to live out my faith. This was learned through countless different activities, such as praise and worship, retreats, men's nights, camping trips, small groups, the national conference I attended in January, and the brotherhood I have with some of the male missionaries. I've found SPO to be a community of people with this bubbling passion and excitement for their faith and just the joy they have for life itself. It's like the fire alarm never shuts off for them. This passion is carried over into other events such as men's nights, wherein the culture is universal acceptance and mandatory fun, followed by dinner on the house, a riveting talk about our faith, and fellowship afterwards that typically lasts until past midnight. The brotherhood I have found here is unmatched. I've bonded with them over anything and everything, from playing football with a cabbage on the Nelson Atkins lawn, to sitting in a freezing river in Arkansas for an hour, to wrestling someone 100 pounds heavier than me. These people have helped me to experience the fullness of life. Moreover, SPO has helped me realize I can't keep my faith to myself and I need to actively share it with those around me. Last month, I invited a friend from work to one of our SPO men's nights that I alluded to earlier, and he marveled at the unrivaled culture there that he had never before experienced. The friend identifies as an agnostic, and faith is a foreign concept to him, but he cannot wait for the next men's night. Because of this transformational community, the way I live has been deeply impacted. It's been a family to me that has helped me better love my own family. The relationships I used to neglect at home have had a total makeover. I started to do Bible study with one of my younger siblings, and one by one they've started to become more interested in their relationship with God. Our conversations have been much deeper, and they're getting to a point where they're actually serving each other on their own as opposed to the every man for himself operation we used to run. Personally, there's been a comprehensive impact in every area of my life. I'm praying every day, as opposed to maybe once or twice a week. Funny enough, as my faith life has improved, my grades have done a complete 180, and I'm in better shape than I ever have been. 10 months ago, a typical day would have been to go to work or school, come home, ignore my parents and or homework, and then scroll through Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube until it was time to go to bed. Nowadays, I'll get home from work and or school, empty the dishwasher, take out the trash, pray, do homework, toss the football around with my siblings, and do Bible study before I go to bed. In conclusion, it's clear that Jesus Christ has brought fulfillment to my life, and this was fostered through the lifeline that is St. Paul's Outreach. I'm excited to see what the Lord has prepared for me and my family in the future, and I cannot wait to transfer to the SPO Men's House at KU that'll be there when I rock chalk my way over to Lawrence in the fall of 2021. God bless you, and thank you all for listening.